never before seen letters from Princess Diana have revealed she told friends she would never have divorced if she knew how desperate and ugly the process would be. Joining us to discuss is Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers from East Sussex in the UK. Russell, always so good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Now, it seems the anguish of the late princess goes further than we initially thought. Well, it does. Good morning, Sarah. I mean, these are absolutely fascinating letters. It's always very interesting to see raw mem memorabilia come around. And uh, and these letters, there's 35 of them, uh, 32 of them that have come about from Princess Diana writing between 1995 and 1996 to a couple of friends uh, of hers. And you said yourself that she talked about how desperate and ugly her divorce had become. She spoke about being on her knees, that uh, that she was longing for the divorce to go through. And uh, I think it's a, it's a really interesting period of time and uh, to, to, to see Diana in her own words explain exactly what she was going through. Yeah and this is Russell arguably one of the most publicised divorces in history. Now we have had some insight but this really digs a bit deeper. I mean the things that she was so concerned about are, are alarming. Well, they are certainly, and uh, you know, whenever we speak about Diana, it's always uh, you know, marked with tragedy, isn't it? And you think about the time that she was writing these letters between '95 and '96. This is exactly the time where she took part in that infamous Panorama interview that was still mm. talking about that the the uh, Prince William and Prince Harry have, have said that should never be shown again because of the way that it was procured and the and the way that it showed her parents uh, their parents' marriage completely destroyed. Um, absolutely fascinating. I'm I'm sure there'll be a lot of interest with for them. Yeah, and I think it's interesting, you know, we've seen excerpts, it's like she wouldn't have even divorced Charles if she'd known what was to come. But then there was also a fear that her phone was being bugged. Well, definitely. I mean, in one of the letters, she talks about the fact that she, she is writing the letter because she her phones were being tapped at Kensington Palace. I mean, this we've heard of this uh, before, but it really paints a picture of how absolutely tormented she was by not only the fact that she was falling out uh, of love with her husband, falling out of favour with the royal family, but uh, her relationship with the press was at a, a completely rock bottom. And um, again, I think there will be an awful lot of interest in this, but there are some critics saying that surely these should have not been a uh, sold by auction for money. They, uh, they're they possibly going to be have a reserve of about $160,000. Um, and perhaps they should be in a museum or given back to the, uh, the, the the boys, her sons. I mean, it depends what side of the coin you've fallen on, I suppose. Well, well no, that, that's a very good point you raise, Russell. That, that, that is the concern, is that they're friends of hers that she wrote these letters to. They've held on to them for all these years. We've not heard of them until now. And now they're trying to make money out of them? I mean, I heard somewhere that they didn't want the burden of keeping them. Yeah, it seems a, it seems a strange excuse to give, doesn't it? Especially when yeah. you're talking about that sort of money. I mean, ninety thousand pounds, hundred sixty thousand odd dollars. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely an, an awful lot of money, and one may question the judgment of such friends who are uh, who are giving over these artifacts, not necessarily for the public good or for her family, but uh, to potentially profit to uh, to quite a tidy sum on them. Just quickly, how will the royal family react? Do you think, and Prince Harry? <laughs> well, I imagine, you know, we, we, uh, we normally hear from Prince Harry when there's certain stirrings in royal circles, so maybe we will hear from him, but I can't uh, imagine the royals will, uh, will say much about it. Keep calm and carry on in this, in this sense. As they sure. always do, yes. Thanks so much, Russell. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?